I want to talk specifically about getting through tough stuff with the pages. Now hold up, if you're an experienced tarot reader, I already know what you're thinking. The pages, oh they're children, oh the, ch the pages, they're young, inexperienced, they're learning. Pump the brakes, gal. I'm not talking about that, okay? It's also kind of rude to say that the pages are just represented by children and innocence. We're not doing that over here on this channel, okay? That's not been my experience with the tarot. Instead, the pages, for me, I really see them and have worked with them and learned that they are actually quite profound healers. They're, in my opinion, like the healers within the court cards. Let's get into it. Let's kind of break this down and explain what I'm talking about. Now, the pages themselves, yes, we can see them as being sort of like fresh starts within their suit, okay? They're almost like that sort of beginning jumping off place, but it goes way deeper than that, okay? Not only are the pages sort of the um, relic wielders within the suit, but they're, they're also incredibly well versed with their relic within the suit. These guys are not held back by the super mundane, everyday worries that we have, like paying bills, like filing taxes, like buying groceries even. They are like, almost like the divine imagineers, okay? They take a deeper and closer look at our lives in a way that is unbound and unchained to everyday living. I think this is why so many people refer to them as being children or childlike because if you think about it, when was the last time that you were able to just feel that freedom of not having to necessarily worry, right? Usually that for us is our childhood. When we're able to go outside, play, we come in, food has already been provided, shelter has already been provided, we're not even thinking about if the bills have been paid. Those are things that are not on our radar. So that is where the pages come in. They're the same way, so that's not on their radar. When we sit down with the pages, this is about tapping into this place of healing, okay? All right, so let's go through the pages one by one and talk about how we can work with them and the type of healing that they, they offer. Let's get started with the Page of Cups. When we think of the Page of Cups, what's the first thing that comes to mind? Usually, imagination, right? So we're going to tap into that as far as working with this page. And we're going to sit down and we're going to get out of our normal headspace and repetitive thought process by doing something that is creative. Now, you don't have to be gifted or talented in any way at all, as far as the arts go, to still work with the page and to benefit from this type of healing work. You can sit down with a notebook and just simply scribble. Sometimes just the mechanical movement of you know, your hand on paper with pen or pencil or whatever it may be is enough to sort of get you out of that place. Oftentimes what's going to happen is you're going to separate yourself from those thoughts and you're going to gain a new perspective and then you're going to maybe revisit those thoughts later, but you'll be able to see it in a different way. Now, if you are a painter, sit down and paint, sit down and write. This is also about writing. Um, you can simply write the same sentence over and over again. Again, it's just like getting out of that headspace by doing something with our hands, okay? All of the pages love to do things with their hands. If you choose to sit down and to, to write, the important thing is to not stop or hold yourself back. You don't wanna think too much about it. You just wanna do, you just wanna write. Set a timer for 10 minutes and then just go. If you're gonna do something creative, again, don't worry about it being symmetrical. Don't even worry about it being realistic or proportional. Just do it. You can take the Page of Cups out of your deck, set it over to the side, and then allow the page to, to do this work with you. Alternatively, if you don't even have those type of resources available to you, just sit and let your imagination go wild. Close your eyes or open your eyes or whatever it is you need to do, but make sure that you are putting focus and energy into sort of altered states of reality, okay? Now moving on to the Page of Wands. What's the first thing you think of when you think of the Page of Wands? Chances are you may be thinking about creativity. 
That's a word that's constantly used with the suit of wands. So with this, instead of doing something creative as far as artistically, think about that creativity of when you were a kid. I don't know if you did this, but I definitely did. You go outside and you just sort of like play pretend with like plants and grass and you pretend like you're cooking and you're like making these things and making these various potions and stuff like that. That is this like type of energy healing. It's about tapping into the creativity of not holding strictly to the reality, but rather focusing on this sort of like energy shield and field of being focused on healing through this unbound sense of wonder with the world and sort of natural materials. Go outside if possible, make a flower crown, go to the hobby hobby store and get different arts and crafts like it's just that sense of doing something fun and creative right pick out some fun fabric that you really like if you love to sew you're gonna sew something uh do like noodle crafting i don't know you know when you like put the noodles on the paper and you whatever do stuff like that this is different than the page of cups because this is about taking those material objects and forming something Next up, we have the Page of Pentacles. And again, I will say, what's the first thing that you think of when it comes to the Page of Pentacles? Sometimes we would say like stability, we would say the home. And actually, what I'm gonna ask you to tap into here is a little bit more sensitive and touchy of a topic for a lot of us. So the Page of Pentacles offers this type of healing that is in allowing ourselves permission to indulge, get a sense of satisfaction and happiness from the little things in life. This is about taking ourselves out to get that sweet treat. Go get to go to the donut shop, go to the ice cream shop. This is go out, get that favorite meal that you have, go to your favorite restaurant. The Page of Pentacles, more than anything, wants us to remember that sense of comfort that we feel when we're not extremely anxious or stressed out or thinking about all of the worries of the day, everyday life. And that's not something that I was expecting to, to get out of this. But again, the pages, they help you to, to find healing where, you know, sometimes it's tough to find yourself. Lastly, moving on to the page of swords and the healing that this page offers is more so about connection to others, about our friend group, going out with our friends. When this page sort of comes up, it's time to take a close look at, you know, when we want to seek this type of healing, the Page of Swords says the way to get away from those thoughts or the way to put some distance between yourself and, and the thoughts and the everyday is to actually go out and do something fun with your friends. Go to that winery, go to that local theme park, whatever it may be, go to the fair, who knows? Just like take your friends, get your friends, book that small little trip, go do it. Even if you're just going to the park, no matter what, this is the type of um, healing that comes from that connectivity that we have with others. I always say like, this is very like Goonies energy, if you know what I mean. Like it's a group of friends who are just out going and doing stuff. Close knit friendships. That's really what the Page of Swords says like, okay, if you wanna heal right now, that path to healing is through connecting with others. Don't sit at home by yourself and think about it and obsess over it. Get out, call your friends, book that trip, go have fun. Those things will still be here when you get back. But right now, go have some fun, gal. You deserve it, do it. Now, I know that I started this video by saying we weren't gonna talk about how they're linked with the innocence of childhood, but they are, they, they do bring with them that sense of childhood innocence but they're not just the sense of childhood innocence. So a lot of this healing that's offered is by tapping into like our inner child and finding those places where maybe our inner child was lacking and being able to express ourselves in a childlike way, but they're not just that, okay? We have to talk about how they do offer that same sense of healing for us as adults, okay? I don't know if you've ever heard of like the inner child or healing your inner child. But you can certainly uh, work with the pages to try and connect with 
and heal that place within you, that inner child that, you know, was maybe lacking something that you as an adult can now provide for yourself. Now, same as I had mentioned with the knights, this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the pages. This is just something that I thought might be kind of helpful for us because we got through the eclipse, that total solar eclipse. We might be in a place where we need a little bit of self-love, a little bit of self-care. And if you're struggling to figure out what exactly you need because our energy is totally frazzled from everything going on, uh, grab your pages, sit down. Uh, you can try to work with all four of them if you want to. You can sit down and work with one specifically for a week or a month, whatever it is that you need to do until you feel like you've tapped into that and you've sort of healed that place. Follow your instincts, trust yourself, know yourself. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you again very soon. Bye-bye.